Hey, welcome back to The Real World. I'm Cam, and today we are breaking down part four of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this episode starts off picking up right where part three left off. Leia has now been captured by Reva. Obi-Wan is put into a Bacta tank to heal from his wounds. He's also introduced to the cell that's been hiding Jedi throughout the galaxy. They're seemingly a cell of the Rebel Alliance, as it's in its early days here. He and the new character Tala go on a mission to rescue Leia, who's being held by Reva, the third sister, at the Inquisitor's headquarters. Obi-Wan and Tala infiltrate the headquarters of the Inquisitors and eventually track down Leia, who's being interrogated by Reva. They then get Leia back and after some battles with stormtroopers eventually escape thanks to two members of the Rebel Alliance flying the same snow speeders we saw in episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. All in all, I thought this was a good episode. I mean, they did a good job building tension throughout it. I thought the uh, opening sequence where it was flashing between Obi-Wan and the back to tank and Vader in his back to tank was very effective, and I can't wait for those two to meet again. Ruby Wan got some new Jedi robes, got some more lightsaber action, and an awesome display in the Force. We also saw the Rebreathers come back from Episode 1 when he's swimming. That was a nice callback. We also saw the tombs of the Jedi, this huge room that the Inquisitors have of all these Jedis that they've hunted down. We find out at the end of the episode that Lola, the droid, is being tracked. And this is how the Inquisitors are going to find Obi-Wan, Leia, and this hidden cell of rebels that's been hiding Jedi. The whole episode felt a lot like Episode 4 A New Hope. It had that very same feel, some similar moments as they're rescuing Leia from this Imperial Fortress. This year is the 45th anniversary of the original Star Wars film, so I think that's why they were paying such direct homage to that film in this episode. This was a good episode that moved the story along a little bit. We didn't get quite as much character development in this one. Some of the scenes between Reva and Leia were a little bit repetitive, but I thought overall it was an effective episode and I was entertained by it. So what did you think of part four of Obi-Wan Kenobi? We only got two episodes left, so I'm really curious to see where they're going to take it. Comment below with your review of the episode, share this on social media, Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications of all of our videos here at The Real World, and we'll see you next time.